Many people from out of town are gathering at Jacksonville Beach for the Orange Crust Festival, and local law enforcement are ramping up protocols just in case. News for Jacks reporter Bree Isom joins us live. Bree, what are you seeing? A lot of people here at Jacksonville Beach today, and like you said, police officers are out here patrolling to make sure everyone is at the beach safely. You can see a big crowd of people behind me all here for that Orange Crush Festival. Now, police were also patrolling the streets of Jacksonville Beach, and so far they say everyone's been safe. A lot of people excited to listen to music on the beach and have a good time. People came from as far as South Carolina and Georgia to participate in this festival. The organizer of Orange Crush expects 20,000 people to be in Jacksonville this weekend for the festival. So far it seems safe and everything, so I'm just here to have a good time. Really just good vibes, honestly. No chaos, no craziness, you know, good music. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office confirmed Tuesday that as a precautionary measure ahead of Orange Crush, the department has requested help from surrounding counties for the temporary housing of inmates. In 2019 in Tybee Island, according to Jacksonville Beach Police Chief Gene Paul Smith, there were 80 arrests made during the weekend at this festival. Ben Frazier, the president of Northside Coalition, says he and some members of the organization are out here making sure JSO patrols ethically. We think that people here should be treated fairly and impartially. What we're going to do is continue to walk around and talk to people and welcome them here to our city. Now, according to the Orange Crush schedule, this beach day is scheduled to wrap up soon. There is an after party at 10 to 3 a.m. at Onyx, and we'll be there reporting as well. I'm live in Jacksonville Beach, Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.